What's up everyone, it's Jeremy Dwayne here, and I'm bringing you episode 2 of my Making Bank series on RuneScape. Uh, I got a really good response from yesterday's episode, episode 1, so I thought I would try to do daily uploads of this series. So, uh, I did change a few of the rules, and I'm going to go ahead and throw up the updated rules. And basically, I'm allowing the use of non-tradable items, such as chaotic weapons and other dungeoneering rewards, and different things like I might also allow void and stuff like that because technically you have to earn that but um, I'm doing this because a I did earn those they don't take uh, they don't cost money to get but the kicker is I'm not gonna let myself use my chaotix until I earn enough money in the game to pay for the repairs so that means I have to earn two mil GP per chaotic I'm not gonna let myself do uh, the whole uh, dungeoneering tokens to recharge. I'm I'm gonna say flat out I can't use any chaotic until I earn at least two mil for that item to recharge it, and uh, we'll go ahead and recharge it. Uh, I will also be using weapons such as like D skim starting out, which you'll see in a second, and also like the whip and stuff like that. So I will be going over methods using other weapons than just chaotics, but. For future episodes where I'm going bossing and stuff, I want to be able to use my Chaotix because they help out a lot. So in episode 2, I this is a continuation of episode 1, like I said, and you'll see me getting um, buying a Dragon Skimitar and buying Full Prossy, and uh, going to uh, collect some more Mortmire Fungus. So please enjoy and we will see you later. Alright, so after going to Felidor, I figured out that it's actually more expensive to buy it from him. So I came back to the Grand Exchange and bought it here. And I'm still waiting on the plate body to buy because, uh, I don't know, it's weird. So I, I put all my cash that I had into that. And we're going to go ahead and go back to Blue Dragons. And we're going to show, show those dragons who's boss with minimal gear. Uh, this Tukul Zo, uh, it does provide stat bonuses. So it is pretty much a beast ring if you can get your hands on it. Uh, it is an, a pretty easy quest to do. The uh, it's um, the elder kiln. Hopefully it's right here. Yep, right there. The elder kiln. Uh, it's a pretty easy quest, and you get the tux Zo. Uh, it provides ten percent damage increase against lava or obsidian creatures. So basically, the Tassar creatures. Um, and uh, it also has pretty beast stats if you don't have if you don't have an imbued onyx ring or something like that that is a great alternative and I actually took it to next last night and it worked out pretty well um, so we are going to go ahead and head back to Taverly Dungeon and uh, we're going to do another run of we're gonna do a run of blue dragons and uh, actually kill the dragons this time and hopefully we don't die we have no food we have some prayer we have a dragon we have a dragon skimmy and we have our war tort so we're gonna try to maximize our war tort our and uh, we're gonna try to uh, do a run of blue dragons because they're fairly easy now, I don't recommend you do this if you are a lower combat level. I would recommend probably praying against their attacks. And I'll probably actually end up using Protect Melee. Uh, but uh, this is just something I felt like doing, and this lag is ridiculous. Seriously, Jagex. I mean, it looks cool and all, but it's laggy. I have a beast computer. I should not be lagging. Come on. Fix it. Fix it. I can't even rage spin my camera because it's so laggy. This isn't right. I, I should be able to rage spin my camera and it not lag. <laughs> Ooh, dragon hide. We're gonna pick that up. Oh, more blue dragon hide. Picking up the money. Free loots. Alright, we're gonna go in here because it's less crowded in here. And uh, these bots in here fail. So, that is why. See, look, there's a dragon right there. Not being attacked. Just chilling. 
and I'm going to avoid turning on PD because I do not, I don't have enough uh, prayer points to afford to do that right now. Uh, eventually what I will be doing is I will be going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on Protect Melee. I will be going to uh, Ever Inspectors and we will be um, collecting some, herb some herbs there in a future episode. But today I just wanted to kind of focus on Blue Dragons and Scales and stuff. So we're going to continue doing this until we get some sweet loot. And I will continue to pick up this dude's stuff because he fails. Protection player flicks for the win. Yeah. Saving prayer like a boss. This is how... Oh, I failed. This is how pros do it. We can serve prayer this way. <laughs> Alright, this isn't working. We're just going to keep it on. <laughs> burner, 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 burner. Okay, this was not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea at all. But, you know, whatever. Oh, green charm. Whatever. So we're going to go ahead and continue picking up the scales because that was easy. <laughs> that did not require skill. And uh, we will come back again another time when I have better gear. <laughs> Probably a better idea to do that. Because we do not want to die. Dying is bad. Alright, fine, we'll kill you. I will kill you! Beauty flicks. There we go. <sighs> Gotta love being a noob. I'm just kidding. Alright. Continue picking up the scales because this is still decent money. And remember, we don't want to convert them to. <laughs> we don't want to convert to Judaism. No, uh, we don't want to uh, grind them into the into the dust because right now it sells better this way. So just do it this way because I said so. Because I told you to do it. Ah, oh, bass, food. Alright, we'll take you on, because cause we got some food, and normally I would be on, on curses and I could soul split flick, but I'm not, I'm too lazy to get on it right now, and one of the reasons why we need to get some money is because the next money making method that I plan on doing requires something that I have to buy. But the next money making method should be pretty good money. And that is one thing that you're looking for. Good money. Oh, law runes. We can use those. Alright, almost done. This will probably be our last trip here. And then we will go to the next money-making method. Alright. Teleport. Fight caves. Go! Oh, it wouldn't let me teleport. You can't teleport. Oh, you can't teleport in combat? What? What? There we go. All right. Oh, I got scared for a second. I was about to die. All right. So again, this is how I've been getting to the Grand Exchange. 
Bla 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 Edgeville. To the Edgeville, Batman. And one of the things that I will be doing is skilling. You know, I will be going over different skills that you can do to actually train this up or to uh, make money, uh, such as fishing. Fishing is a good example. Um, mining. I will do some mining eventually. And stuff like that. Uh, take Beast Burden. Cannot access my Beast Burden. Good game. Take from Beast to Burden. You know what? This is not the smart way to do this. Smart way to do this would be to do this. And then this. And then this. And then this. So this is the smart way to do it. <laughs> sure. Alright. Making bank. Alright. Ooh, I could actually buy rune, but I don't want to buy rune. I want to stick with my proselyte. Alright, so. I have 69k. Uh, 79k. 80k. Uh, let's go ahead and finish buying proselyte. The hubbark. Alright, so since this will not buy in the Grand Exchange, I will go buy this in Falador because that's how much it costs at Falador, so be right back. Oh, it actually bought. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, Why well, you have to be retarded, GE? Okay, uh, so that's that. And the next thing that I wanted to go over, the next thing that I wanted to do, was I wanted to go to the Ectophuntus. And I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to collect. Actually, no, I need to go back to the Grand Exchange, so I will talk to you when I get to the Grand Exchange in a few seconds. Alright, so the next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to get a blessed silver sickle, so I go ahead, went ahead and bought a silver sickle. And I want to get some more Meyer Fungus, so I'm also going to buy some. Um, I'm going to buy a Helm of Natiznot, or how, however you want to say it. Um, because I, I can't stand not having a helmet. Uh, and then I'm also going to, I'm also going to, um, I need to go to the Mortmire, Mortmire Swamp, but we're going to use the fairy ring instead of this ectophile. Uh, actually, yeah, no, I'm gonna use fairy ring for the first part. Um, and what we need to do is get some food because I am low on f health. So we're gonna get some. So not not turna. We're gonna get tuna because tuna still heals pretty decently. Actually, how much is monkfish compared to that? Hmm, not worth double. All right. Tuna, actually, swordfish. Okay, we'll go swordfish. Because swordfish are still pretty decent. They're not too shabby. And I will be right back. My, I'm getting a phone call. Alright, so not wanting to bore anyone, I went ahead and used my Dragon's Medallion to teleport me to uh, Bergdorot. And I also uh, switched over to Curses, which is why my prayer points are boosted. So, uh, I wanted to do that before I started because uh, this method of, of money making requires prayer points. And 
Uh, you don't have to be on curses, but I just, I like being on curses. And, uh, first off, I have to bless my, I have to bless my silver sickle. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and bless, or renew my points. Um, to do that, you have to use it on the nature grotto down here in, uh, the Mortmire Swamp. And then from there, you also need to, uh, to do this money, or to do this method, you have to be in the Mortmire Swamp. Uh, if you've done the quest, which I will put on the screen now because I don't know it off my off the top of my head, uh, you will know what I'm talking about and what I'm doing. Uh, I believe it's just something I don't know. I'll just put it on the screen, and uh, it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I will also put on the screen the requirements to do this, and I'll probably probably do a guide on this eventually. Um, it is a pretty decent way to make money. So if you're if you're looking for ways to make money, this is one way that I would recommend doing. Um, I still have 24 minutes on my war tour, so plenty of time there. And I just wanted to get a few more pieces of run before I end in here. Mm, jump the bridge. Oh, and it failed. Good job, Jeremy. Alright, so you come in here, into the grotto tree, enter, and then remove the silver sickle, use silver sickle on the altar of nature, and chapow, silver sickle blessed. So, wield that, and we guys bless silver sickle. So, uh, now, where you want to go is... You want to go uh, to Canifus, and I wonder, I actually wonder if there's a better place to do this. I wonder if there's one, I wonder if there's a spot near Barrows. I haven't actually checked around this area. Actually, no, that's not going to work. Um, Barrows is not where you want to go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, I'll just go ahead and walk. But this is a better place to walk from than than where we were. So we'll walk from here. Because what we want to do is we want to get up to Canifus. And we're going to take this boat. We're going to have to pay to, to use the boat. Because it's stupid. Uh, 10 GP. Ooh, so expensive. Ooh. <laughs> And then go north, go north, go north. And we're we're not going to take the uh, the shortcut. We're just going to walk north. And this this spot actually would work pretty well too. But um, we will take the tree house. Then go to the northwest, because this is the easiest place to do it. Uh, I find. There's a couple places around here. You want, you're looking for. You want to look for these rotten logs. Um, this person's doing it. Good job. You're making money. All right. So there's there's that spot. Um, actually, that's a pretty bad spot. Uh, you want to find a place with uh, more than. Ooh, my mushrooms are done growing. You want to find a place that has three logs uh, in a triangle. So uh, right here would be a good place. So if you if you do you want to stand like right here um right here I think and then do bloom see if that works nope okay that's not the right spot but you do that you pick the fungi and you get a fungus so that's not a good spot ignore that I said that that was a good spot uh this spot however is a good spot um I believe if you stand right here it'll work Nope, okay. I'm gonna have to remember where my spot was because it's been a while since I've done this. And I don't think that, yeah, that's not something I want. All right, this one down here. Okay, this is where you want to stand. This one, if you stand in one of these sections. Okay, that's not right. I'm just, 
a failing because apparently I don't remember how to do this. Um, maybe they changed it. They probably changed it on me. That's probably what happened. It was JGX's fault, not me. <laughs> um, maybe it's this one? Yeah, this looks like it'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, if you stand here and then do this bloom, it'll cover all three logs, and eventually you should get um, you should get some on all three of these. There you go. See? I got, got them on all three. And just continue doing this. Until you have a full inventory, and then fill up your war tort, or your spirit terror bird, or your pack yak, if you have 96 summoning. Uh, which I don't. So it kind of failed. Now the only thing that sucks about this is it uses prayer points. So if you don't have a high amount of prayer points, you might want to consider taking a prayer potion or two. Uh, because that'll make you, it'll let you stay here longer. Uh, I find that I can do pretty much full inventory and a full war tort with 99 prayer points. I did it, I used to do this when I had 95. So if you have, if you just have turmoil, you should be able to do this just fine. And you'll, you should have some prayer points left after, after doing this. But if you have like 70 prayer points or 43, you might want to bring some prayer pots or probably just one, just bring one four dose because you don't want to waste too many inventory spots uh, but at the same time uh, you don't want to waste your time uh, and not have a full full do you know you don't want to do a full trip and come back empty-handed so see inventory full store in the beast burden and then continue on this is pretty good money like I said it's about 700 to 800 K per hour now, I haven't done this in a long time so the prices may have changed Actually, they, they probably did change, but uh, it used to be pretty good money, and it will be good money again on bonus XP weekend. Well, before, you know, the running up to bonus XP weekend, because this is a tertiary ingredient for super energy potions. So a lot of people like to uh, get these for that, because it's just a good way to train uh, Herblore. So just continue doing this until you get a full inventory like I said and then you'll bank and the way that I would recommend banking is with house teleport tablets and then have uh, an, in your in your house you want to have a teleport portal to uh, Kinefis so you'll have to have desert treasure done completed to do that but, if you want to just run back and forth, you can do that too. Uh, this guy's shocked that I'm still alive, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, I would run to the Knifus Bank, and bank there, and then go back and make some more money. I will I will steal one of my home teleport tabs. Uh, actually, I will I will deduct from my, from my money how much one costs, because I don't feel like going to the Grand Exchange right now. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, withdraw these, um, take one, how much is this worth, uh, price check, so 1302, withdraw 1302, and we will bank that, so I just purchased this, <laughs> alright, so what I would recommend you do, actually let's price check the, the mushrooms too, so I just made 38k. Again, this is pretty easy, um, pretty easy money, and it's very fast. So this is how I would recommend you kind of do a run. So you would do your your thing. You get um, you get a full inventory, you get a full war tort. You'd use a teleport to house tablet to your house, in which you have an altar, and you also will have a, uh, a teleport portal to uh, Karul, which is Kinefis, so renew prayer points, renew summoning if you need it, and then go to Karl, or Karil, however you want to say it, Karil, which takes you to this bar, 
go to the bank, bank your stuff, and then go back to the swamp. So that's how I used to do it, and that's how I would recommend you do it yourself. Uh, it's a very fast way to bank and also recharge your prayer points. A bucket of milk! Ooh, how much is that worth? 98 GP. Empty the milk. Drop the bucket. So, uh, that is kind of another way to make money, and I will... I have to go for now, but I will continue this series on tomorrow, hopefully, with another episode. Uh, granted, this episode that I just recorded will probably be split up into, like, three episodes, because it is pretty long, and I don't want it to be too long. I want these episodes to be, like, I don't know, I want them to be, like, 15, 20 minutes tops, so uh, that's what you can expect. And from there, uh, we will continue making bank, and hopefully eventually start doing something that's more exciting other than collecting things. So, I'm Jeremy Duane, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.